Hello ladies and gentlemen, Panzer here and welcome to this look at Party Hard. Now this is a game that's been made by Tiny Builder actually, uh, who in the past have been known for making games such as speedrunners, so this is an interesting change, change of pace for them. This is a hard one to describe, but straight off I want to say uh, I'm really liking the setup of this game. It has this sort of old school Apogee style to it. Now, if you have played Apogee games before, games like Raptor Called the Shadows, Rise of the Triad, you kind of know what I'm talking about here. It has a unique style to it that's not just pixel art and pixel graphics. There's something more photorealistic about it, in particular all the details, this art style, even the main menu text and the particular music that they use, it's really well done. Now let's just quick check of the options. There are resolution options. I am running this at 720, I tried running it at 1080 and somehow or another things didn't really look as good. Like it, it sort of changed the size of the UI in a way that I didn't really like. Now this does have Twitch integration, um, but to the best of my knowledge, at launch it isn't really quite working in the way that you'd expect, but hopefully that's been patched out already. Um, this actually allows live streams to integrate the chat into the game to allow different things to happen. The separate volume controls. Uh, controls are not rebindable, but they are fairly simple and at least they're not too out of, you know, out of the conventional style, I guess. Um, but yeah, we're going to get straight into it. So let's get back here. There is a mouse driven menu, of course. And let's continue. Right, so we're here. This is the first level here, the barbecue party. And we do have a few different heroes to use, but this is the default character. And this is um, the, the character that the main story is kind of built around. So, now, there you go, the objective killed them all. This is, why I say this is an interesting pace, or interesting change of pace for the Tiny Build team is that this is kind of like a Hotline Miami style game, where your objective is to kill everybody here. But this is, if, if Hotline Miami was made into a slow game, that's what this would be. It's more slow-paced and methodical rather than reflexes and speed. So all of these people that you see here, and this is randomized, the level itself is static, but the actual characters in here are randomized. In fact, the first time I played this, this horse was not here. So we're going to have a look at this. Let's climb in over here. These are windows, and of course there's the main entrance over here, and there are doors that open and close. Now, doors themselves actually blocked line of sight. So what we have to do is we have to eliminate every single person here, but if a body is spotted, the police will be called. So that's something we have to be aware of. Now that ladder allowed us to get in, because I think that's a balcony of some sort, uh, but these windows are not passable, so those are the limitations we have. We can interact with, uh, with the different objects in the world, like you can see right here, there's the electric box, you can hide bodies in the ice box here. In fact, we can even just damage the stove uh, to cause an accident. So there are a few people here. Let's try doing that. Just get away. There's a little countdown timer to see when that happens. And just hide in here. And I think there we go. So there's been an accident. Somebody's going to call the police now. So we also have uh, a knife, which we can activate using E. Um, and we can pick up bodies and hide them. So the police are going to come here and bag the body there. They don't really clear it away straight away. They sort of just bag it and then they leave. And <laughs> the police tend to sort of run people over as they drive along. So these guys here have been, I believe, may have just fallen asleep there. I'm not sure what's going on with that. So let's... There is actually... This guy here is a private detective. <laughs> so we're going to stab you and stab you. Now we do get points for this. So I guess the more creative the kills are, and how hidden they are, uh, the the uh, more points that we get. So I'm going to pick this person up here. Nobody seems to really notice. I mean, if you're carrying a sleeping person in 
in in a party like this, uh, I don't think anyone really knows this really. So that there is an electrified puddle, and that will stop anyone from uh, investigating. Or for a temporary period, anyway. Yes, that detective did not notice anything. Okay. So yes, we could just go around stabbing everybody. That takes a very long time, and in fact it's actually quite slow. Uh, and inefficient. There are other ways of doing that. We also have a dance button, so I'm just gonna do that. Doesn't seem to... There we go. So I can just stand here and dance. I don't know if that actually does anything. It did seem to piss a few people off though, I'm not sure why. <laughs> Okay, so there's the DJ booth over there, and a lot of people in this area, it's going to be a bit difficult to separate them, frankly. So, let's just have a look at what else we can do here. So, this guy's asleep. We're going to knock you out. Alright, so somebody's now about to call the police. I think this guy here is actually going to try and sell us something. So let's have a look at what's over here. Oh, he's he's stopped. All right. So these papers here are also different um, tips that we can we can make use of. All right. So that's a bear trap. <laughs> Not sure why there would be a bear trap there, but there we go. So let's just cause that accident to happen there. This guy hasn't noticed anything. Now I'm not sure what this guy at the computer is doing, but I'm going to knock you out. <laughs> so it's, it's actually a very difficult game because you have to balance the sort of I don't want to get spotted, but at the same time, um, you have to complete the objective. There are 47 people here to kill as well, and you can imagine with um, with, with Twitch integration, they can call in like dancing girls, a dancing bear, uh, a biker gang, or even a SWAT team if they really want to. Uh, and these options will appear at the top of the screen here for them to vote on. So you can imagine that there's actually a lot to to really do with this game. And I can imagine as the levels go on, there's going to be a lot more. Now, I can only show the first level. I want to avoid spoilers, but at the same time, this is a very difficult game. <laughs> Let's try making a call. I don't think that actually does anything. Oh, no, it seems to have called someone. Alright, so the person seems to be following me around. I don't know why. <laughs> so I scared the horse and it kicked him in the face. So let's just go. Let's just go. Oh, police car almost ran me over there. So you can see a level like this is going to take a very, very long time, so... <laughs> Let's just keep moving. Now there are other things as well. You can find things like poison, which you can put into somebody's drink. Um, that's a hell of a mess on that bed over there. Now they can see through windows as well. So if somebody happens to walk past a window and they do see uh, something. So what have we got here? We've got a stun bomb. Right. Uh... Can I just put it here? Right. Let's see how that works. So that's knocked out everybody, including myself, actually. 
But that seems to have allowed me to escape the police. <laughs> uh, that was a complete accident, but uh, it seemed to have worked. I don't know how long it's going to take for me to actually wake up again. But that was kind of lucky, because this lady over here, who's actually um, asleep right now, seemed to have seen me. Oops. So we can probably push this guy into the fire. Let's do that. I mean, I don't think I've been seen anyway. <laughs> Not by anyone who'd probably be able to to do that. Now, of course, the, the stun bomb that I used is not actually um, limited. It just takes a little bit of time to recharge. So I'm going to put another one over here. And let's get further away this time. So that's knocked everybody out. Now, the police have not seen me. Somehow the police have not seen me. Right, so now they are actually after me. You can't fight the police, by the way. <laughs> it is an instant kill if they catch you. So that that didn't go so well. But yeah, it's a very difficult game, but there's a lot to actually do in it. Um, <laughs> and let's just reload that. So, of course, same objective. Slight change in the... Um, layout here. We now have this fruit puncher on the table there. Not sure what we could do with that. Oh, we can poison it. So that's poisoned now. Anybody who drinks from it is going to be in a bit of trouble. So you can do this, try to do this really quickly, or um, really slowly. Either way, um, the objective is pretty much the same. I'm just going to pick this person up. Oh, actually, no, I, I stabbed them instead. So, of course, the... Um, The party guests will attempt to call out anybody that they think is the uh, the murderer, but uh, <laughs> they do sometimes get it wrong. That actually is a thing that happens. They do sometimes get it wrong. <laughs> I don't know what that paramedic is doing, but they're, um... Just going to try something here. Oh, I got... <laughs> I did intend to kind of knock the tree down on that policeman, but that didn't work. But yeah. So... <laughs> It's this sort of game. It has this kind of very strong retro 80s style about it with a very, very twisted sense of humour. But as as a game, anyway, it's it's. I can imagine this being interesting to watch live as an on, on the stream. Also, that room over there is now a meth lab. Just kind of interesting. 
<laughs> so it has changed a little bit. Um, but yeah, I can imagine this being very interesting to see live. But on its own, I'm not sure how fun this would be to play on its own. Simply because it's it's the sort of game that could be because of how difficult this just this first level is, it could be it could be very frustrating. But at the same time, if you if you're if you're enjoying this sort of sense of humor, this might actually be all right. <laughs> But I, I gotta say, it has that sort of style of Hotline Miami, but it's much, um... It's definitely very... Slow compared to, to it gameplay-wise. But there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This has been Panzer taking a look at Party Hard. It's developed by Pinocchio Games and published by Tiny Build. And it has... A very nice style and a very, very nice soundtrack to it. Difficult as hell, but it's uh, quite a lot of fun, actually. So yes, you can pick it up on Steam for $10, I believe, or whatever your regional equivalent currency is. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Panzer, and I'll see you next time.